and welcome to the Field Investigator's Backpack. This is an episode on kitting, and I'll explain exactly what I mean by that. Kitting is a quite a simple concept, but it will save you an enormous amount of time in the field and a lot of frustration. So let's get started. The idea of a kit is to collect together ahead of time a bunch of related things that you might need for a particular task. In particular, we want to focus on the small things, the things that are easy to forget. Things like batteries, cables, lenses, uh, tools, things like that. The small things that if you get on the field and you haven't got it, you're stuck. There's something you can't do. And you know how frustrating that can be. And not only frustrating, it can really limit what evidence you can come home with. So. What I want to do is show you some very simple examples of kits. And these are just examples. Okay, you have to think through what you need for your kit. But the idea is to get most of your ducks in a row before you start organizing for the trip. And then you just have to get the big ducks in a row. The big things like tripods, cameras, those are easy to remember. And you'll have those with you. So. I'm not talking about those things. I'm talking about little things. I'm going to show you some examples. And the idea is to get things together, keep them together in boxes or pouches or whatever it is you like to use to organize stuff. And then when it's time to go out, you just grab what you need, put it in your backpack or your pouch. There's lots of ways to skin that cat and then go. Now we'll talk about bags and pouches and backpacks and all that other stuff in another episode. But here we're just assuming that you have something to pack it in and you'll remember where you put it. First thing I want you to think about is a checklist. For every kit of related things, like a kit for your laptop. Here's my laptop kit, all organized in a pouch. I can just grab this and go. I know it's got everything in it that I need. There may be some things that need to be charged up or whatever, but it, well, in this case, no, there aren't any. Uh, some things that might need to be checked out from time to time. It's a good idea. But I've already made a list and I know that that's the right kit for me. This is my kit for my, um, for my MacBook, my highly portable little MacBook that I take with me pretty much everywhere when I'm out for any length of time. And you might have a similar kit for your machine as well. It doesn't have to be a MacBook, it could be something else. This is my everyday carry kit, or part of it anyway. Now, everyday carry is kind of a personal matter, but what you have in your everyday carry kit can provide some relief and some backup to what you take with you on a field investigation. So think through that, decide what you want to have. Not everybody likes to carry much stuff. Some people like to carry just a few things in their pocket. Other people don't mind having an everyday carry pack or bag. Uh, that's up to you. I'm going to let you organize that. But just keep in mind that you can use that to, to provide some, some backup. For example, in my everyday carry kit, I always have a photographer's multi-tool, a small one. And this is a, a very good tool for tightening and loosening things which is pretty much all you need for photography. I always have it with me. And so I've got some very basic tools and I don't have to worry about getting to a situation where basic tools are an issue. I also always have with me a small flashlight. Now this is one that can have varying brightness and that small flashlight is quite often useful to me when I get into a situation where it's dark and I can't find things. Um, and of course I have personal items that I won't get into here. Let's, I'm going to show you a couple of kits and you'll get, hopefully get the idea. You'll cr start creating your own kits for the types of missions you expect to go on. There are many different kinds of kits. I have an audio kit, a video kit, a computer kit that I just showed you. I have actually more than one audio kit. I have this little thing that has my lab mics in it and adapters 
uh, which are very useful everywhere, including some stuff that I'm using right now as my lab mic. I will show you in just a second my recon slash evidence collection box that has most of the small things I would take with me. And a few of the things that I don't have in there, um, I, ha I know where they are and easily, easily gathered. So let's show you that. Okay, I'm going to show you one of my kits here. And this is in a plastic box because it's too large to just put in a pouch. Ideally, you'd have every, every kit in a pouch ready to go, just as I have with my laptop stuff all ready to go. And I'm not going to go over the detailed contents. The, the, the point is, you figure that out, but then once you have it figured out, you're ready. So here I have, I'll show you some examples of things. Notice I have written on here, using gaffer tape, I have many of the major things that are in here. So if I'm looking for something, or let's say I'm looking for my Brunton compass, it's right here. It's in this box, or it should be if I'm doing this right. Uh, small multi-tools, uh, right in the rain, back uh, booklets, um, gaff and labeling, labeling tape, illuminated, illuminated hand lens. And here I have a number of things, like I have a, this is for site visits. I always have one of these guys. I can put my map and, and site visit plan in. I have a 100 foot measuring tape. Now that is for when you find an area you want to cordon off and, and put a grid on. Good measuring tape is very helpful for that. So you can find exactly where a piece of evidence was found. Pretty much in every kit, I have a flashlight, a small, cheap, low luminosity, single battery flashlight. So you're kind of getting the idea, right? There's my compass. This is a small scale for measuring light weights. I always have things to write on. This is just a, a pouch for holding small items. This is a pry bar, basically. It's made by K-Bar, and its purpose is to it's, it's extremely sturdy and strong, and its purpose is to dig at, or pry tape for labeling. And um, always good to be able to contain SD cards. If the witness has an SD card, you can drop it in, in here. Here's an illuminated hand lens, a standard weight, and of course, spare batteries always have spare batteries. More spare batteries. Now I like to carry button batteries in these little boxes. These are actually meant to, originally to hold compact flashcards. That's just an example. I'm not going to I'm not going to detail every kit. The purpose of this is to show you what a kit might look like. Now a kit can be very small, very simple, or it can have tons of stuff in it like this. When I go out, I'm going to make a checklist and I'm going to pull stuff out of this box and put it into maybe a pouch like this that has lots of loops and things that it can hold it or I'll put it in a backpack because backpacks have little pockets in them. Whatever works for me, the important thing is you know where it is. So see, by getting this kit together ahead of time, I don't have to go hunting through my stuff. I know where this stuff is and I can easily pack it and get it ready to go. You should have a packing list. Your packing list can say something like laptop kit. And you'll have that just handy. Or it could say something like take your lab mics. Well, they're right here. I don't have to have every detail of what's in here because I know what's in here. And so there are a lot of things you can do to get prepared ahead of time, to organize quickly, to make sure you don't leave little stuff important, little stuff behind, and get out in the field and not have it. So it's a combination of making lists and kidding. And that is how you get ready to go out in the field. Now, on the next several videos, we will talk about what is in each kit and why it's there. 
And I just gave you a quick example. We'll go into much more detail. Well, I hope that was helpful. Feel free to leave comments below. Positive comments, constructive, negative comments are fine. And let us know what you think. What other things should we be covering in this series? The purpose is to get you out in the field with everything you need, nothing you don't need, and be ready to do your job out in the field. If you want to make sure you don't miss another one of these, press, is it over here? Press, yeah, here. Press subscribe. And if you liked it, press like. If you don't like it, press don't like it. Your interaction is important. Your, your opinion is important. Remember, this is all about stimulating your thinking, not about telling you what to do. So let's get out there. Let's solve the mystery.